overall uh, main engine starting air valve and uh, in this video I will uh, show you how to assemble it and uh, how to do the operational check of a main air starting valve for main engines, electronic engines and uh, please uh, continue watching this video and if you didn't watch the part 1 video please, please uh, watch that video also so that uh, you will come to know the continuation from the beginning how to dismantle how to overall and this video will continue with your assembling and operation check of main start airing star main air starting one so please uh, continue watching this video completely thanks for watching okay now we are done with our cleaning now we are done with our lapping and everything now i show you how to assemble it assembling this is very simple all you need to do is first you ensure your uh, spindle is free of any kind of dirt duplicate it should be lubricated properly and the inner surface should be lubricated properly Drop the band out. Okay. So the band is now fixed inside the starting air valve body. Okay. Now next will be your spring. Go inside and next your piston. Piston should go inside. So one day thing what you need to check when you are installing your piston is uh, this two hole should match your spindle bolt area. So again whenever you are uh, installing any piston you just lubricate the liner so that it will be easy when you are uh, fixing your liner and again lubricate the piston also so I am going to lock it okay so I will use a jack board so that easy to handle okay I can lift it I can match with the hole yeah that's all little tap okay so it is in place the next thing I need to do is I have to fix the bolt always uh, coated with uh, anti scissor as I always say whenever you use any bolt use anti scissor I use molly coat I have to give a little pressure so that uh, the bolt will lock inside the thread. So then it will be easy for me to tighten. So you have to tighten both the bolt equally so that the piston will go down gradually.
station the piston till the level is reached. So you need to lock the bolt with your locking plate. So easily it is uh, holding your uh, bolt so that your bolt cannot turn. Yeah. Okay. We are done. So our final thing is to pack the cover in place. So, one thing that you need to match is this area should be in place, that's all. See? This should match. Yeah. So, this will be matching. And the other side should match. This bolt should match. So now I put back the bolts. Again, as I say earlier, always use your anti scissor. Like this, so you fix the 
adapter in your pilot airline. diesel oil in the chamber now this diesel oil should not leak for at least one or two minutes so if it is leakage then i have to lap the surface again if it is not leaking then your spindle is holding properly you can use this for uh, as a spare and you can replace it whenever you need it so i wait for one minute then i will check whether it is leaking or not if it is not leaking then our valve is working in a good condition. Uh, I checked the valve leaking condition for 2 minutes. There is no leakage. And now I will open the valve. You can see the diesel oil coming down. Saw the diesel oil coming down. That means the, the valve is holding properly without any leakage. Okay. Uh, okay. So I believe that uh, this video might have given you some information about uh, how we need to 
dismantle what are all the checks that we need to do and uh, how we assemble and after assembling how you test the working of your starting error so I believe this information will be enough for you to do something basic about your starting error if you like this video please like share and don't forget to subscribe so that we will get notification of any of our future videos which will be uploaded in our channel. Thanks for watching.